Use the system clone application to copy everything in a database from one instance to another. Cloning is typically used to copy a production instance to a pre-production instance to test changes. Cloning data comes from the most recent nightly backup. In this video, we will show you how to clone an instance, log into the source instances, navigate to the All tab at the top of the user interface. Type Request a Clone into the filter window. Locate and click the link in the extended menu. Select the desired dashboard. The system displays a new record request SR scene. Enter data in the target instance field. Set a start date and time for the scheduled clone. Confirm the, the preserve users and related tables box has been checked or check box manually. Click the submit button in the lower left portion of the interface. An authenticate target dialog box appears. Enter the username and password. Click the authenticate button. The system provides a dialog box informing the user that data from the sys user and related tables is not preserved on the target instance but is overwritten by the data from the source instance. Click OK. If the preserve users and related tables box is not available because it is grayed out, the user will have to work around this issue. Follow these steps to complete the workaround. Locate the All tab in the upper left side of the instance. Use the search filter to locate clone-related topics. Select Exclude Tables from the extended menu. The system displays the Clone Exclude Tables screen. Click New. Enter the Exclude Table in the Name field. Then click the Submit button. Please note, the user will have to repeat these steps to create all eight tables for the Excludes list. When done creating the Exclude Tables, the user will have to add tables to the Preserve list. Locate the All tab. This time, locate Preserve Data on the Extended menu. The system displays the Clone Data Preservers screen. Enter the desired table in the Name field. Apply the necessary conditions in the dropdown. Click the Submit button to complete the entry. The user will have to repeat these steps to add all the tabs to the preservers list. 